Hey there, Julian from Emberstack here. And today I wanna to talk about something that is always asked in the Webflow community, usually by new people who are moving over from platforms like WordPress on to Webflow. And that is, is Webflow good for SEO? And there are a lot of videos about this that get into some of the more technical stuff, some of the nitty gritty, some of the smaller bits, but why I wanted to make this video was to explain the most important thing. And that is, Google's algorithm has changed a lot. Back in the day, back in 2005, for example, it used to be easy and there were a lot of people who manipulated the Google algorithm to have their maybe not so great content showing up super high and beating the great content. But Google openly says that what they want you to do and what they're gonna prioritize is good content. And they've gotten a lot better at doing that over the past 10, 15 years. So because of that, by far the most important thing is how good is your content. It is very difficult, if not impossible these days, to try to convince Google that your bad content is good and for them to see your good content as bad. So if you have good content, the other stuff is going to, of course, give it a boost, make it easier to find. And there's a reason why uh, SEO experts are out there and why they get paid and why they're super valuable because that last extra 20%, let's say, makes a massive difference when you're talking about thousands of visitors, 10,000s, millions, whatever it may be. So to get into that point with the actual technical optimization, the good thing about Webflow is that they give you a lot of control. There are a lot of features built in that allow you to easily make optimizations. They also allow you to easily break things. And because of that, there are a lot of Webflow sites that are very poorly optimized, and there are a lot that are very well optimized. That being said, there's no reason to sit here and say that that makes Webflow good or that makes Webflow bad for SEO because that is totally up to the person who builds it. Webflow themselves are not going to do anything in that regard to make your site show up higher or to make your site show up lower. There are a lot of things though that Webflow does do out of the box that are going to make your site show up at least a little bit higher than if they weren't to do these things. One is that they use global CDNs to serve your site. I think it changes as well, depending on the hosting plan that you have, but that is good because your site is going to load faster all around the world, which obviously Google is interested in because they don't wanna show people pages that are gonna take 10 minutes to load. Along with that, they serve different sized images at different screen sizes. So when we're talking about mobile, for example, they don't need to show an image that is 2000 pixels wide. By default, they're actually going to shrink that and serve a smaller image to the mobile visitors, which is definitely helpful because speed plays a big part in SEO. And there are a lot of other videos that get into the specifics of all of these different things that Webflow does, which are great for SEO. You can go check those out. But now we understand what is most important with SEO and why Webflow does not negatively impact it. And instead they give you the ability to optimize it yourself. So that is it. If you enjoyed this, then drop a comment, let me know. Thank you and have a great day.